I uh, met Celeste by email. I was uh, doing my davening every morning, which is usually about an hour and a half. And I'm very careful about not having it interrupted by extraneous thoughts. But at that time, my uh, seven-year-old boxer mastiff was dying of the largest pituitary tumor they'd ever seen. And I basically uh, was facing east, and I got halfway through my prayers, and I just said, you know, that's it. I can't do it anymore. And they say in our tradition, but I'm sure it's every tradition, that you, you don't, they don't, Hashem doesn't put anything on your plate that you can't handle. But sometimes it just is beyond what you can handle. And I, it, it almost, I almost stopped my prayers. And I'd been doing this for almost a decade now. I didn't grow up religious, but I had taken on a Chabad path. Something made me stop. And, and I looked at my friend and I thought, I'll never get to tell your story. I picked up my cell phone and there was an email from someone I never heard of. And I went to the computer and opened it up further. And Celeste had said she had heard about me through a friend at a lecture I gave in Santa Fe on prayer and healing that I usually give to physicians. And would I be interested in this book or participating? And the impact was, you know, it's hard to explain because I really was, I was finished. I was at my wit's end. My best friend was dying. And, and I picked this up, and here's like a direct answer. And I stopped my prayers. I called her. We talked for a few minutes, and I went back to my prayers. Well, as it turned out, the story that I wrote wasn't the story <laughs> that they wanted. It was a different miracle story. And so I'd just like to, uh, to read this. I pray from my heart, but I listen with my soul. My prayers are at once complex and simple. Since beginning a journey through Jewish orthodoxy, my sense of awe toward the mundane has begun to emerge with daily synchronicity. With humility and wonder, I wish to share a manifestation of the miraculous. For 30 years, I searched for my beshert, that's uh, Yiddish for your soulmate. My soulmate from Baltimore to California, New York, Texas, Florida, New Mexico, and Israel. For years I dreamed, and against the odds of time and space, have kept my belief that somewhere my special someone was waiting. In the realm of Hasidic mysticism, there are special prayers, specific portions of Tehillim, those are David's Psalms, and physical actions known as mitzvot, where you take a spiritual thought and you put it into a physical action, such as giving charity, which can draw down spiritual blessings. As you can imagine, however, after so many years, I'd become a bit dream wary, but never did I give up hope and trust in Hashem's interest in our lives. It was then that I had almost accepted my fate to go through life as a single man, that I met Rabbi Kamenitsky of Dnipropetrovsk, Ukraine, at the Lubavitcher Rebbe's yard site in Crown Heights in July 2009. The rabbi asked if I'd be interested in speaking to the Jewish community in Dnipropetrovsk on integrative holistic medicine, and added, by the way, there are many single Jewish women there. He assured me that I wouldn't be engaged by Hanukkah. I also laughed inside, and I said to him, this was my, yard, my mom's yard site. My mom passed away the first night of Hanukkah. So I smiled, and I said, I've heard this many, many times before from many rabbis, but I'll come, and we'll, we'll see. According to the Baal Shem Tov, the founder of Hasidus, there are no con uh, coincidences. Everyone you meet has a message for you if your heart is ready to hear, to see, and feel. I landed in Dnieper on 9-8-2009 and asked, what am I doing here? I was getting off the plane, the city was dark, bleak, dreary, and excuse me, very third world. I could smell the gasoline, the cars, everybody was smoking. And I asked myself, and here I'll find my Bashert. On 9-9-2009, just before Rosh Hashanah of that year, I met Marina 
And exactly two Hanukkahs later, on December 21st, 2011, Kislev 25, 5,072, 5,772, the first day of Hanukkah and my mom's yard site, we were married. I pray from my heart, I listen with my soul. Prayer is my heart and soul. With Hashem's blessing, we celebrated our second anniversary during Hanukkah of 2013. And my blessing is sitting right there. <laughs> and Bernie is still alive and well because he loves her and he now has a, a job. I, I can't say enough because uh, I usually talk a lot, but right now I, I can't talk. Thank you.